200 years, we've been building a gigantic worldwide machine. It comes with a promise of wealth and a better life for all, and is programmed for permanent growth. Nearly all politicians and economists pursue economic growth. When the economy stops growing, we call it a crisis. Billions are then hastily pumped into financial markets to kickstart growth. Yet, is infinite growth at all possible? Our economy operates within a physical reality, our finite planet. The planet's limits have now been reached, if not exceeded. The growth machine consumes resources and spits out rubbish. Our seas are being emptied of fish and filled with plastic. It chops down the last remaining forests to turn them into agro-industrial wastelands. Ever more plants and animals are driven to extinction. We dig, drill and frack ever deeper to satisfy the machine's hunger for fossil energy. In return, the machine spews out vast quantities of CO2, heating up the planet and causing climate disasters. People in the poorest countries, who have no share in this prosperity, suffer most of the consequences. For a few, however, the growth machine is a source of ever greater wealth. They want to maintain the status quo. For many people in Europe, economic growth no longer increases the quality of life as once promised. This cannot go on forever. It's time for a profound transformation. Together we must rebuild our economy so that it serves everybody. The new system will need to respect our planet's ecological limits. Renewables instead of fossil energy. Regional agriculture instead of agro-business deserts. A circular economy instead of a flood of waste. And green mobility to overcome our fixation with cars. We must replace the idea of permanent growth and maximum profits for the few with an economy that fulfills every person's needs for a good life. This will also allow for more leisure time and democratic ways of living together. We want a world in which everybody can live well. Today, tomorrow and in the future.